as resetting Windows back to its factory default will perform a clean reinstall of Windows. You would typically reset your computer if its operating system has become corrupt or if you want a clean start with Windows 11. However, if you intend to sell, give away or decommission your computer, we do not recommend that you use reset unless your computer's hard drive has been encrypted. As there are two ways to see if a computer has been encrypted, let's take a quick look at both. If we open settings and from the sidebar choose privacy and security, in the main panel under security, you might find an option called device encryption. If not, then we need to check to see if something called BitLocker has been enabled. If we run a search for BitLocker, and then open Manage BitLocker, we're presented with an alternative method for encrypting a Windows computer. As this computer does not have encryption enabled, if we were looking to decommission, sell or give it away, we would either enable encryption and perform a reset, or perform a secure wipe of this computer and then manually reinstall Windows. In order to reset a Windows 11 computer, if we open Settings, and then from within Settings, we choose System. If we locate and select Recovery, under the heading Recovery Options, we will find a setting called Reset This PC. If we select Reset This PC, we are prompted to enter our administrator's credentials. We're now shown two options. The first option will reinstall Windows, removing all applications and settings, but keeping our personal files intact. So this option is very useful to repair a computer if its operating system has become corrupt. It's worth noting that while this option should not remove any personal files from your computer, we recommend that before you use this option, you back up any data that is important to you. The second reset option will reinstall Windows, but remove all applications, settings and personal files. So you would use this option if you wanted a clean start with Windows 11. We're going to choose the option Remove Everything. An additional panel will now appear with an option that allows us to change certain settings of our reset. Let's select Change Settings. If we change clean toggle data to yes, when our computer performs its reset, we will do a more thorough wipe of the files that we have stored on it. However, as this is not a secure wipe, unless our computer is encrypted, it may be possible to recover data even if you use this option. Let's select Confirm and choose Next. We are now informed as to what our PC will do when it performs its reset. Let's select Reset. The reset process will take a considerable amount of time and is dependent on the specification of your computer and the size of its hard drive. You will also find that your computer will reboot a number of times. So while your computer is being reset, you should not power it down or remove it from its power supply as it might corrupt the clean version of Windows that you are installing. When your computer has completed its reset, you will see the initial Windows 11 setup wizard. You can now either add or create a user account or power down your computer.